Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, welcome to the channel if you're brand new. If you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button, it helps that channel so much and it is free to do so, it only takes a second to do. And please go back and watch all my other Let's Plays and everything else I've done on my channel, because it really helps me out quite a bit. Because in the last episode we've done a little bit of exploring, went for the secret chamber. And we've come to this place here, so now we are just going to continue a little bit of story and all that. Got some new clothes as well. Bardo Beaumont should have returned by ah, now. My here. Ah, here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Rebellion. Also, I'll let you guys can pause the video and look at all this. That's it. Madam Thistlewood. I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldridge believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, oh, yes. No. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts Peeves. suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. What a horrible story. If you think I can help, I'll come with you. This is so wonderful news. To... You are to be commended for your kindness and bravery. Fortunately, being a retired aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. You said Jackdaw's ghost appeared briefly, then vanished. Where do you think he went? I have no idea. Evidently, he was always a bit restless, going on and on about adventure. If I had to guess, he tired of Scotland and is somewhere on the other side of the globe by now. So we're going to go ask about it then. Brilliant. I'd like to know more about Anne. That poor soul. Never was the brightest girl. And that lack of wit proved to be her undoing. I half suspect Jack, Dor and Apollonia were merely toying with her. Who could have known he'd end up dead? She's not held up well in Azkaban. 
In some ways, she blames me for not proving her innocence. I'd like to clear her name if we can. Can you tell me more about Apollonia Black? Wretched, vindictive girl, that one. Apollonia claimed that Anne threatened to kill the boy after he broke her heart. The Black family's power over certain people in the Ministry, along with the fact that Anne is muggle-born, sealed her fate. Let's go, let's go. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now, and tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. Azkaban Prison. This is going to be fun and terrible and scary at the same time. Because who knows who we're going to have in that prison. That ought to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place, but we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. Do keep your wits about you. I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince oh, the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such monsters. Careful around, Dan. She's been here a lot longer than the rest of us. Who's going to believe this? Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave? Near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs! Hogs! Field! Field! Ruins house! A vault concealed! A vault in some ruins? Near Upper Hogsfield? I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look! Can't hurt to look! Go find the pages from your book! Helen! Helen! Now you're here! In closer, be a dear. What is it, Anne? 
probably has nothing in Azkaban prison at all, though. I want to learn Expecto Patronus. And I wonder what my Patronus would be like. If you can, then that was going to be amazing. Go! The cave! You're safe now! You have what you need! I'll be alright once I get... But, Madam Thistlewood, I... Alright. I'll find it. I'll find right, Jackdaw's cave. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic money. was the answer. I reckon... Ro Excuse me. Did you say something about Bardolph Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolph. Only he's gone missing. Rumour is he was seen in the forest practising dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rockwood's lot, I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders. Especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Do you think Bardolph may have simply run off? No. Bardolph's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. Why would Bardolph want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolph was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Ranrock Lodge. are a menace. What can be done? Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolph dared to stand up to them and ended up in St Mungo's. I'm simply at my wit's end. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. Right. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. I go here, do my best, I'll do the main. Press first. That's what I want to do first, and then I'll look at my other quest afterwards. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. 
So looks like there is a cave down there. I can go explore ruins or something like that. Yeah, I think that's where I'm going, it's gonna to that lot over there, I think. Do I write spells? Yes I No I don't. Explain armors, yeah, alright. Just guess I need to do other things. Who lived here, I wonder? This must be the place Anne told me about. Lumos! Rebellion! Luke! No one's been here for ages. Akio! No, that's not it. No. How did you do this, Jackdaw? It's no wonder I never found that clue. Ah! Ah! I see how this goes. Just opposite. Couldn't outwit me, Jackdaw. Now, where's the clue you left behind? Got those. Akio! Do I kind of now? Alright, let's continue then. From Jackdaw. Anne never found it. So how did he die? Was she to blame at all? <clears throat> oh god. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves. And then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best for her in the end. Dare I ask? How is she? Not well, I'm afraid. She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. I fear the Dementors have taken an irreversible toll on her. What? Yeah. Azkaban? Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been travelling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be mouldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what, meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you precisely where to find them. Do I want Anne? Let's carry it off your head. If you don't mind me asking, how did you lose your head? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do find yourself in a cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light Thank breeze. Thank you. I need to find those pages to help a friend. I shall you see you there. Ghost. 
a quest for her brother. No oh, quests. Over here. Special level 17, okay. I see that one then. Clear the golf Might as well try and level up a little bit. I was only like level 2 or something. Pretty powerful at the moment. Black quest, which is good. I've already done this, these camps. Well, so I'm going to be doing it again then. Well, I wouldn't give for a cup of mushroom tea. <laughs> Over here! <laughs> no! <laughs> Let me do it! Put me down! That's what? He's putting on the tail! You are patrolling me in that! Why can't I hit you? Let me Get it. Get it. Just you wait till I. No! How nice of you to stop by. One less humor to one. You will regret. You will regret. Oh, this shit ain't no. Actually, you don't need to use some plants actually because it, it's getting quite tough. I have all of these goblins. Such arrogance. Arrogance. We're close to a breakthrough. I can feel it. Let me Hey, 
Shin does not belong in battle. <laughs> I do, the more I level up. Fear the goons. Yeah, let's have those. I still have time to do another quest or two. I do miss the bustle of business. I would podcast me. Ready to venture out? Hello, Madame Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? It was harrowing, and they dug in their heels, but I managed. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. What do you have to say? Thank you. Sincerely. His quest probably go around to have been in the forest anyway. And then be pretty much level fourteen. Cause he'd be level seventeen to do a certain quest. Cause I'm not powerful enough yet.
and then just do some of just do all my side quests I have at the moment as well probably for you for next episode after this one so yeah this is a lot of exploring a lot of side quests design your character get better gears and stuff like that actually not bad Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It would take the patience of a Hufflepuff to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros, I think it's Latin, or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Who does? Aside from the birdbath, anything else I should look for? Indeed, a few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful, thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm, yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Nothing to do now but keep going. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Lumos. I really don't want to see anything right now. Because I'm probably going to be... Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Revelio. Leviosa. Repair room. Send you. I suppose I wasn't paying attention. Oh, Intramuros. Aren't 
you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But We'll report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. Oh, God. Got ambushed. Only by three. I've taken on like twice as much. Or even three times as much, really. Then three. And one, so, you know. Ain't that bad. I wonder how big this place is. Rebellion. These rooms must have something to do with opening this door. I can shoot the symbol, but it doesn't stay lit for long. I need to light all three before they time out on me. You have to have video. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Incendium! Oh, God, no. Go away, 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 away. No, 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 no. Rebellion. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Accio. 
Fuck off. Take him. Stupid man. Expel the ice. Boom. Incendio. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. is hidden somewhere. helps our channel so much and it's free to do so and it takes a second to just scroll down and subscribe because that's the button but so thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time yes i'm leaving you on a cliffhanger so if you want to watch then subscribe <laughs>